Guys, this video has so much beef in it, I've divided it into an UFC fight card, mentioning all of Poppy's beefs with other people. However, before I actually tell you why she was beefing with people, I got to tell you who Poppy actually is. Poppy is a musical artist from Boston who made very eerie and weird music videos and also just videos on YouTube commenting about internet culture and society. And the thing is, what she did was very original, or she might have copied it completely from someone else. I'll tell you guys the whole story and you guys tell me your thoughts down in the comments section. While you might think Poppy's main audience was just a bunch of neck bearded dudes, it was quite the opposite. Her audience was mostly teenage girls, so I guess the adult men just like to stick to Joey and the teenage girls stick to Poppy. Perfectly balanced. And I think it's just because dude found it too weird and could not handle it. As you are aware, the autism spectrum is very large and everyone can land in different places. What Poppy does is these weird videos that resemble ASMR but aren't quite it. She speaks in an innocent a robotic voice, is Santa racist? wearing pastel colored outfits and wigs and addressing different topics about just society and other things, she started blowing up because of a 10 minute video of her saying she's poppy over and over again. I'm poppy. I'm poppy. And she used to mix her weird YouTube videos with her music, which was mostly just uplifting pop. So it's just like, how does this comparison work? Is it okay to think things like this? This planet makes sense to me. Her real name is Morio Bros Pejera. Poppy was born on January 1st, 95 in Boston, Massa, whatever, and as a kid she wanted to be a rocket. You can probably see that in her videos and the way she looks, dresses and acts. And also fun fact here, Swan Lake, the ballet, was shown on a loop by the Soviet representatives during political unrest and turmoil, such as death of leaders, wars and etc. The more you know. And the thing is Poppy's childhood was not much different than how she presents herself in her videos. She was very quiet in school and also got bullied a lot for being skinny, which led her to complete the second half of her studies by being homeschooled. And to be honest, judging by everything I've read on her, she used to be a social outcast. But after me reading you this quote of hers, you would think, wow, if I got treated like this at school, I would fucking play video games all day. Poppy is a stronger person than me. And this is the quote. I am Latina, among other things, so I have pretty dark hair. Kids used to call me Gorilla Girl. That is, that is, just, that is... Fuck. Insane, even white girls are getting called that now. Crazy. But then she signed with a label and moved to LA at 18, where she met this man, Titanic Sinclair. He became her collaborator and romantic partner, and he had a vision for Poppy. He wanted to create a character that would parody and critique the pop culture and the internet. He gave her a platinum blonde wig, a pastel wardrobe, and a creepy persona. Together, they started making videos for YouTube, where Poppy would say or do bizarre things in front of a white background, such as introducing herself repeatedly, I'm Poppy. eating cotton candy, talking to a mannequin. Poppy, I asked you a question. I love my fans, my record label, and my handler. The videos were short, surreal, and hypnotic. They also had hidden messages and references to conspiracy theorists, cults, and mind control. Her videos of course went viral because everyone in 2014 was like, what the fuck? And it was a different time in 2014. ASMR wasn't a thing and people were still having sex with women back then. So her videos went viral, attracting millions of views and a lot of fans. And while the videos were weird themed, her songs were about being famous, being a product, being in love with the internet and being controlled by someone else. Poppy's fans loved her for her originality, her mystery, her humor and her talent. They called themselves Poppy Seeds and followed her every move. They analyzed her videos for clues and theories about her true identity and purpose. Questions arose such as who is Poppy? Why is she doing this? Will she be my wife? But the thing is, during her career she got overshadowed by Titanic in just official record label meetings. In the corporate world, nobody would take Poppy herself seriously and thought that Titanic was the puppeteer and basically did everything behind the scenes, which was not the case. Because Poppy and Titanic were working on the whole projects together as partners and not, hey you do this. And this is basically how her record meetings would go. Hi, I'm Poppy. Shut up bimbo, I wanna hear the man talk. And all this continued until one day where Poppy decided to become Dana White and have so much beef with people that it could be an actual UFC pay-per-view card. You guys know I'm Georgian and English is not my native language and a lot of people think 
it is extremely cool that I speak a different language well. This video is being sponsored by the language learning app Babbel. Babbel teaches real world conversations that you will actually have in real life and not just AI made up conversations. What I really like about Babbel is how it actually teaches you how and why you speak the language like it is. For example, in French you say salute to the people close to you and bonjour to strangers or older people. Here it is telling me to salute my girlfriend and bonjour the baker. It's great that it explains stuff like this so you're not just saying stuff for the sake of saying it. Also the great thing is after you finish a lesson you get to review what you learned but it's not in an annoying way it's actually pretty fun. It's genuinely such a useful tool for learning a language and for this cheap it is absolutely an amazing offer. To get Babbel just click the link below and when you use my link you will get 60% off. So click the link below and start learning a new language today. And they also offer a 20 day money back guarantee so you literally have nothing to lose. But a new language to gain. The next part of video is just Poppy versus the world. The main event of our UFC pay-per-view is Poppy versus Mars Argo. Mars Argo is a former YouTuber and musician who collabed with Titanic Sinclair from 2008 to 2014 and together they created a project called Mars Argo which consisted of music videos, songs and a web series called Computer Show. Mars Argo had a similar aesthetic and style to Poppy with platinum blonde hair and a quirky personality and Mars Argo was not a small artist artist by any means. Here's one of her music videos with over 23 million views on YouTube. And the BS all started in 2018 when Mars Argo filed a lawsuit against Poppy and Titanic Sinclair accusing them of basically copying everything. Her identity, likeness, expression of ideas, sound and style. She also claimed that Titanic Sinclair had abused her physically and emotionally during their relationship and that he had harassed her and stalked her after their breakup. <laughs> this is like some fucking myth. Metal Gear Solid plot. And here's what Mars Argo and Titanic used to do in their show called Computer Show. The YouTuber Priminic did a great job of showing off the comparisons and I'll be using a clip of his and linking his channel in the description as well. Welcome to our Computer Show. I'm Mars Argo. The series of videos were called Computer Show and I think it's pretty clear to see that the videos were quite similar to Poppy's. Mmm, chips. They had the same voice, the same style, the same quirkiness, they both were artists. There was even a few times in Poppy's videos where she would blatantly reference Mars Argo's work. Big 36? Big 36? Oh no, I'm late. I don't know man, I don't know. It looks pretty sus to me. But Poppy responded to the lawsuit by denying the allegations and calling it a desperate grab for fame. Basically saying Mars Argo is a cloud chaser and she hated him. Uh, she said that she was not a clone of anyone and that she had worked hard to create her own original art. The lawsuit was eventually dismissed in September 2018 after the parties reached the settlement. The details of the settlement were not disclosed but it was reported that Mars Argo agreed to drop the case in exchange for Poppy and Titanic Sinclair to just shut the fuck up and never contact her again and never use her name or likeness in any way again. Now to the co-main event of our UFC card. Poppy vs Titanic Sinclair is our co-main event and you might think that everything was fine with Poppy and Titanic but no, their partnership ended in late 2019 when Poppy accused him of being manipulative, abusive and unprofessional. And Titanic Sinclair acted like how every mentally healthy... <laughs> <laughs> and Titanic Sinclair acted like how every mentally healthy man acts like when he loses good pussy. Which was, Poppy, come back to me, I'll fucking myself. I'm gonna give a head to a dude right now if you don't come back to me, Poppy. Poppy. You see, Poppy put out this statement where she says that she split up with Titanic because he was very manipulative. He also tried to game in himself when they were on tour with one of Poppy's items, right? Which is just... Yeah, he tried to claim credit for basically everything Poppy was doing and she says it was so far from the truth. And Poppy also revealed that Titanic leaked personal photos of her without makeup and unreleased demos of her songs online to make her feel insecure and exposed. Poppy's fans were outraged by Titanic Sinclair's actions and started a hashtag on Twitter to cancel him. They also praised Poppy for being brave and confident and for standing up for herself. After Titanic Sinclair, Poppy dated Ghostman and not only did they date 
they but they also got engaged right however they called off everything and then ghostman made a statement about it on his discord lol i'm disappointed that fans think i would make anything other than good decisions for my own well-being i left a dog shit relationship because i was being treated like dog shit why because i don't have to stay in a dog shit relationship being treated like dog shit just so people who love my relationship so much get to be happy while i'm treated like dog shit if you said anything other than something supportive on this topic you're a simpleton and an embarrassment to the community if you have anything negative to say about any decision i make you're a simpleton and your opinion won't be noted cared for or ever treated as important to everyone else and most of the people who are supportive as usual thanks for being consistent and i'm grateful the vast majority of the community is made up of people like you it seems like ghostman got caught in the latino curse from poppy to be honest, I think his statement explains everything and there is not much more needed to elaborate on that. And also to be honest, I don't care, right? I just want to give you this information for more context. <laughs> Grimes collabed with Poppy on the song Play Destroy and also on a video. It's time for you to leave Hollywood, Poppy. No. Nobody wants you here. Why? Don't you know that everyone hates you? Why? You need to get out of here now. Stop this. Don't you know who I am? Grimes. You're gonna pay. And the thing is, when they collabed on Play Destroy, they started swinging hands right after that. And after this video, Poppy basically said, Fuck Grimes, she's a bitch who bullied me and bullies other artists into signing NDAs so they don't receive credit for their work and she doesn't practice what she preaches. To be honest, I don't know about this one. Grimes has literally given approval to monetize music made by her AI voice and split the revenue 50-50. Literally letting other people use her voice. Also a vital fact, Grimes is Canadian so she's probably nice and also she's never had a controversy of people calling her an asshole so at this point who knows like the biggest controversy Grimes has had is dating Elon Musk and dating someone dumb is a thing that everyone has done so it's like whatever so with all these things about Poppy Mars Argo calling her a copycat her breaking up with Titanic Sinclair Ghost Main, calling Grimes an asshole just literally beefing with everyone she has ever interacted with right I low key think she either got fucked over by everyone everyone she ever interacted with or she's just an asshole that beefs with people a lot and currently poppy doesn't make these weird videos anymore she just has her own musical career i mean yeah you might like it you can go on her youtube channel and check it out so honestly who knows but i want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below huge thank you to everyone for watching like and subscribe and goodbye <laughs> Agar akhos da bzandi o da gamo mi o da jishkari cheni galibeva chemizi haruliya.